Pokemon Black and White 3 would have to be some amazing games if they ever actually come into fruition. It's really unknown if Nintendo's ever going to make Black and White 3, but you know, since fans love Black and White and Black and White 2, it would be really unfortunate if Black and White 3 ends up not living up to its name. Also, I'm starting another giveaway for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, the giveaway winner will be announced. To enter to win, just like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below to let me know that you have done that. So I made up a little wish list of things that I'd want to see and that I think the community and the fans would probably most likely want to see in Black and White 3. I think one of the most obvious things that the fans want is an expanded region. I personally would love an expanded region. Adding more to the Innova region would be really neat, you know, having new areas to explore, new towns, new cities, different routes that we've never seen before. Maybe some underground stuff or flashbacks to the past before it was built into the ginormous city that it is now. Because if Black and White 3 did come out, I feel like we'd get flashbacks to the past and the future. That's just my theory though. Of course, I know nothing about Black and White 3 or if it's ever going to even come out. I'm certain that they would also give us new forms or variants of Pokemon that we already know. It took me a while to actually enjoy and like different variants of Pokemon. You know, because at first I felt like a different style of a Pokemon that's already been created was a little lazy. I was like, bro, I just want to see a new Pokemon. I don't want to see a new regional variant. But over time, I actually grew to really like regional variants. So I hope that we would get new regional variants of some Gen 5 Pokemon. It's just kind of cool to have a refreshed look of a Pokemon that we already know and already love and everything. I just think it's really neat and I'm sure that we'd get that because that's kind of becoming a popular thing with Pokemon games nowadays because Pokemon are becoming harder and harder to create original like new looks of. So kind of going back and redoing a previous Pokemon that's already out there is kind of fun and exciting, you know what I mean? Also on a side note, I watched a really interesting video about how many like Pokemon that the creators or like designers make and scrap. I thought it was really interesting so I might make a video about that in the future. Black and White and Black and White 2 have been praised for their storyline and how it's a little bit more complex than the other Pokemon games and Black and White in my opinion has perfectly set up a storyline that could tell us a lot about the original dragon and I feel like that would be the main point, the main storyline of Black and White 3, you know, if it ever comes out. The original dragon has barely been explored within any storyline. We know very minimal things about it and I personally would love to see a story revolving around the original dragon the most. So if it doesn't come out in Black and White 3, I feel like if Legends Kiram or whatever they would call it comes out, I feel like that would be the story to talk about the original dragon, but I guess we'll see. Definitely, I definitely think a lot of people would agree with me in the fact that the original dragon needs to be explored more. I think enhanced graphics that are reminiscent of the original Black and White and Black and White 2 would be fantastic. I don't... I really don't want to see a completely new or different style graphics slash animations with Black and White 3 because I personally feel like it wouldn't make sense. If you're going to make a trilogy of Pokemon games, I feel like the graphics are going to have to be really similar. Like, of course, I know technology has advanced in the last 10 years or 11 years since Black and White 2 came out, but at the same time, it's like I kind of want them to have like a polished version of that original, like the DS graphics, you know what I'm saying? I don't... I really don't want it to look like Scarlet and Violet, even though I like that Nintendo and the Pokemon Company, Game Freak, whatever. I like that they have been exploring like new animation and graphic styles because like every single Switch game for the Pokemon, because every single Switch Pokemon game has a different animation style. And I think that's really interesting and unique because it's like every game is brand new. But if they're going to continue to change the graphics and test the waters out with different animation styles, do that with brand new titles, brand new releases, such as Scarlet and Violet. Like, I didn't, I didn't mind the graphics because it was a brand new Pokemon game, even though it had a lot of bugs. Of course, I didn't like the bugs, but you know what I'm saying? But if Black and White 3 were to come out, I definitely would want it to be reminiscent of the DS graphics, but just enhanced, you know what I mean? I'd also want more post-game content that is meaningful. I personally feel like the after-game content for Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby was great, and it really like drew me in, and it made me want to come back to play the game more and finish that post-game content. But... On the other hand, Scarlet and Violet post-game content, I feel, I felt like was just really boring. As soon as I beat the game, like the main storyline, and the after, and the post-game content was telling me to go beat all the gyms again, I was like, bro, I, I literally don't want to do that. What's the point? I want like a, a whole nother storyline that I could seriously only access at that end of the game. 
and that would draw me back in to play more, maybe for another like 10 hours or something. That would be kind of excessive, but that would be great. Special events, you know, they're always fun. I definitely would like to see some special events with mythical legendary Pokemon. Maybe like some more online features where you can join a group or something to catch a mythical or, or something like that. And going out with online features, I definitely would like to have some more options to make it easier to play with friends or to trade. Just more of like an online feature where I feel like I'm part of a community or a group within the game. I think voice acting would also be really cool. I don't think any Pokemon game has ever had voice acting, but I feel like voice acting can make the story more enjoyable. You know, sometimes reading just a bunch of text can get really tiring, it's really repetitive. So I think voice acting would be cool, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have wanted this for years. I'm kind of surprised Scarlet and Violet didn't have voice acting because there are like smaller games than Pokemon that have voice acting like like a lego game for example there's a there's a lego game that i played that had voice acting i'm like wow that's great because who would have expected this game to have voice acting when it definitely costed a lot less to make than a pokemon game so hopefully in the future we'll get any voice acting within a pokemon game like i don't expect every single character like you know the random npcs at the end of the forest to have uh, voice acting, but that would be kind of cool, you know? Let me know what you guys think about voice acting, though, because I, I think it's a controversial topic. I personally wouldn't mind it, but, like, I'm also, I don't really care if they don't ever add it. I'd also want some more customization, like, for my character, just more outfits or customizable features to make my character more diverse and unique from the other characters. Scarlet and Violet, you could change some of your clothing and stuff, but I feel like they, they could definitely go in deeper with that. Like, think of Animal Crossing. I know Animal Crossing and Pokemon are far from each other, but Animal Crossing had just thousands of designs for clothing. It's crazy, and I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to do that for a Pokemon game, but I mean, it might be hard, but I feel like the fans would love it because fans want customization. They've wanted it forever. I'd also want more diverse side quests. Some side quests feel just totally pointless, but also some feel like they have a lot of meaning, so I'd really enjoy more side quests that have a ton of meaning to them or maybe like really good bonuses or items i could literally only get from doing that side quest or maybe some actual dialogue to the storyline i think that'd be pretty neat or maybe some stuff that connects this game to like another pokemon game because i feel like with some pokemon games i'm not motivated to do like side quests like legends arceus some of those side quests got really repetitive like you had to catch like 80 pokemon or whatever to finish this mission or side quest whatever stuff like that but then there were also some side quests in legends rcs that were really fun and and like actually genuinely enjoyable but there are definitely more things that i can't think of that i would love to see in black and white 3 so leave a comment down below of different things that you would like to see in black and white 3 or any type of up and coming pokemon game in general i'd love to hear what you guys think and let me know if you also think Black and White 3 will ever come out. I'm optimistic because I feel like it's a possibility, but I also feel like they take a different route and probably go with, like, Pokemon Legends Kiram or Legends Unova. I feel like that would be what they would do and then probably would make more sense for the storyline as a whole. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.